All right, so check me out. French Montana and 50 Cent got some kind of beef going on. Now, French, if you know what I know, you would leave 50 Cent alone. Dude's a nutcase. Uh, I'm a Miami boy, and when I saw him go to DJ Khaled's house and the alleged place of his mother's employment in front of his alleged mother on a video, I knew 50 Cent was the real deal. See, I don't believe 50 just talks just to talk. He's funny as hell, I'll tell you that much right now. But my man likes to pull real pranks. Now, if you want to compare French Montana to 50 Cent, I mean, I don't think it stacks up. French Montana had one good song, Pop That, and that was largely due to the beat from Uncle Luke and... Uh, Drake was on there and, you know, Rick Ross. That's who made the song. Uh, everything that 50 put out was kind of kind of hot. Even the fact that he made an opening song for his show, Power. He made an opening credit song. And that still kind of blows out all the songs that you ever made, French. I think you suck as a rapper. I might as well be honest with you about that. So it's like, I think you should give up. I mean, the only thing you got going for you right now is the fact that your boss's vodka might be the best vodka on the, on the market. Ciroc, I can't lie. I gets down with the Ciroc. But, however, you went through Trina and a Kardashian. 50 Cent went through Vivica Fox and whoever he has right now, they both knocking off the people you've been with. So, you're losing, Punjabi. I would give that fight up. That's all I'm saying. On to other news. Chris Brown got... Two tattoos on the back of his head. Now, Chris Brown's probably my favorite singer out right now and one of my favorites in history, but you know what? I don't have any thoughts about his tattoos. I think people should leave him alone. He could do whatever the hell he wants to do. He's a millionaire or close to it or something. I don't know. He has a lot of money. And the boy's growing up. He's taking care of his daughter. He showed the world that he could be a serious man. I'm all for it, so good job on him. This broad K. Michelle, let me tell you something. I don't like K. Michelle. She reminds me a hell of a lot of Tamar Braxton and Keisha Cole. She probably could have a lot of talent. She probably could have a great, successful career, but she's too ghetto. And the ghettoness is killing her. I think she needs to stop that crap, but whatever. And so she wants to run through her office all naked and stuff. If that's what's going to get you publicity, baby girl, do what you do. But at the same time, you probably need to focus more on some music and, and your personality. Probably need to cut that down some, too. And last but not least, we're talking about Sierra and Future here. Future, I'm sorry. You my boy. I messed with you. You got to take this L on this one because you lost Sierra. Russell Wilson's going to wife her up now. And, and you're mad because she took your son around Russell Wilson. You got to suck that up, buddy, because there's a lot of men out there whose kids are around other men who could stand the baby mama. All right. So if they could stand it and they real men about it, they could be around your child. That don't mean you'll call them daddy. If your child end up calling them daddy, you pretty much messed up somewhere down the line. And that's on you. That ain't on Sierra. So I think you should get over it personally. Uh, I think you're just crying right now and and. You know, I think you should focus more on some music. You know what I'm saying? I, I dig your music. That's all I want to hear from you. I don't, all your crying and stuff, you know, get over that. Comment, like, subscribe, do what you do.